So TypeScript really gives you three main things, is how I like to describe it to people. It gives you a really nice documentation standard, uh, one good way of writing out the intent of your values. Because JavaScript, the language so far, does not include a way to describe that, say, something is going to be a number or something is going to be an object with these properties and these optional things and such. So TypeScript gives you that. It also gives you a bug checker to check whether your intent of the code, as you described in your TypeScript type annotations and other values, matches up with what you're actually doing with the code. If you said something's going to be a string and then actually gave it a number, oh no. And then third, it gives you really nice developer tooling. It integrates with VS Code, VAS, Vim, Emacs, all sorts of IDEs, editors, etc. So you get things like find all references, rename symbol, go to definition, and so on. But what actually is TypeScript? It is the idea of this language, just conceptually, all of JavaScript syntax, plus these new type-specific things, way to describe types of code and so on, which is why people say TypeScript is technically a superset of JavaScript. It adds to the JavaScript syntax. So that's just theoretically. And then practically, it's also three programs on top of that. There is the type checker, which is a program that takes in TypeScript code or JavaScript code additionally and lets you know if your intent doesn't match with the values in code. There's also a compiler, TSC, TypeScript compiler, that is a program that runs the type checker and also transpiles, if you want, your TypeScript syntax to the equivalent JavaScript syntax. And then on top of the compiler and type checker, there is a set of language services that TypeScript provides, which allows editors such as, say, VS Code, to integrate with TypeScript, get little development squigglies and actions that you can run on code. So four things. 